it's time for some food now and I'm excited because Melis is here to share her family cottage pie recipe. I'm going to be honest, I want to stop talking so yeah. I can eat because it smells delicious. Well, I can't wait for you to try it. I mean, as a family, we put halim or halloumi cheese in everything. So I think one of the most delicious things about this is that mashed potato topping. But I'm going to start off with the actual base. Um, and I've fried off some vegetables in olive oil here. So like a very traditional sofrito base of onions, mm -hmm. celery, carrots. And I think the key thing is to really soften them down. So I don't know if you can see in the pan here, the more you soften them down, the more you get flavour into that they look nice and glazed, don't they? Exactly. Nice and, um, and with those vegetables, garlic, Mass. more delicious flavour. And you just cook that down until it's lovely and aromatic with some fresh thyme as well. So I've got some thyme leaves I here. Just said I love the like smell thyme. of thyme. It's, it's my favourite, isn't it? It's like really comforting. It's like it's woody and herby, oh, but yeah. it's subtle. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, you know, cooking, taking your time. I know we all have, like, our cottage pie recipes and our favourite kind of bolognese recipes. But I think the difference with this one is the fact that it does have some ingredients in there that you wouldn't necessarily have in a traditional cottage pie. And we're pie. All bored of our same recipes. That's the thing. Like, I do do a cottage pie, shepherd's pie, quite a bit. But I'm ready to change it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like Today's the, the day. Meal, Amazing. That's music to my ears. No, so. honestly. Tell I might start your... eating whilst you're going for this. Tell us about your family. Where, where are you from? Where? So my heritage Brazil, is Brazil. Turkish Cypriot. Okay. So um, we kind of... We have influences from all over the kind of Mediterranean, the Levant, in Turkish Cypriot cuisine. And I think one of the most, like I was talking about, like things like we use pomegranate molasses um, in lots of salad dressings and things, and that will go into this as well. I've got an ingredient here called tatla biber salçası, which is sweet red pepper whoa, paste. Whoa, whoa, say that again. Tatla biber salçası, which means sweet red pepper paste. Okay. If you don't have it, you can use tomato puree, but the red peppers, again, yeah. have like a real lovely, deep, natural mm. sweetness. It is so delicious. It's, it's almost like fresher. It feels like lighter now. than a mm. normal cottage pie. It it's might be it because it, it doesn't have things like, say, wine in it. So yeah. things like wine could be more... It's so, so lovely. Oh, I'm so pleased. And, mm. I mean, once you've cooked those mushrooms and the garlic down, so get, like, really take your time. This is like a lazy Sunday. I want comfort. I want to yeah. spend some time in the kitchen, you know, kind of cooking it up. I mean, you could soften the vegetables like I've done here, add in that sweet red pepper paste or tomato puree, and then brown your mince. And you could pop it into the slow cooker as well. And would you oh. find, you know, the sweet red pepper paste, would you find that in the same aisle that you'd find the like a tomato puree? Would you find that in the supermarket in or is some, it harder to get? Yeah, so in some supermarkets you are. So I think nowadays you do find now that most mainstream supermarkets kind of sell the ingredients that maybe five, ten years ago you wouldn't find. Yeah, sure. And I'm adding some beef mints in here as well. I always kind of think, you know, when I was younger, ingredients like soy sauce were quite exotic and, you know, You're you couldn't so get right. that. Whereas yeah. nowadays you, it's everywhere, isn't it? And it's the yeah. same with ingredients like pomegranate molasses and the Tatla Biber Salcha, so you can find it in mainstream. Oh, I love the way you say it. I say do. it one more time. <laughs> Tatla Biber Salcha. <laughs> Tatla Biber Salcha. That's it. Perfect, Close. Craig. Close. You're, welcome. You're practically fluent now. I know. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, I think it's interesting because I have a bit of a mince fear that I have to fry it on its own to make sure it's browned and cooked, but you're putting it in with everything else. So, right? once, I mean, obviously, we're cooking something that would take about 45 minutes in about seven. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not <laughs> we're spending good at that. As Welcome much to our world. <laughs> but I would, I would normally brown everything yeah kind of with with the mince would go in the vegetables because if you've got it on high enough for heat then everything gets really brown and yeah. crisp anyway and i always find if you use the middle ring of the hob um you know it's kind of you can add some more flame there mm -hmm. so i've got some balsamic vinegar i've got that pomegranate molasses i can really taste that oh i'm so do you know yeah. it's like it's a really rich, tangy, yum. rich yeah. sweetness oh. isn't it really yum and yeah. then once you've added the pomegranate molasses, the balsamic and the Worcestershire sauce, you kind of cook that all down and then you go in here. I've got some gravy granules, some beef stock that has just been cooked down. So cooked down, just blended down with some <laughs> boiling hot water. And then this will all cook down, you cook that down slowly together, with the lid on. I mean, obviously, I would have browned the mince a little bit more. But I'm going to go to we one in a sec. We haven't got the time that, girl. We You're have good. not got the time. So we're going to put that on. The That's pomegranate gonna cook. goes so nicely with them. You know how meat, you know, can be is, is quite an intense flavour, mm. is it? Just like beef, it cuts through it so, so yeah. nicely. The it's tang really of it. Good. And the thing is, as well, I think, other than that lovely filling, I've got this mashed potato, which has my favourite ingredients. I've got some... Warm milk and butter because it's easier to blend in. So you've mixed them together. Mix them uh -huh. together. Just there's heated that through. There's something else going on here. This uh, yeah. There's all sorts going on. What is it? I've got some grated halim or halloumi cheese. 
and I've got some Pecorino Romano. Oh, Rather oh than my, is that what so it's, it's, it's nutty? It's, the it's the nutty, mm. isn't it? It's not like a strong flavour, say like cheddar. I've got dried mint because in Cypriot cuisine, dried mint and um, helim or halloumi yes. cheese is the golden combo. Mix okay. that all together like so. You can season it with some salt, but the potatoes have been boiled with salt, so it's fine. Um, and then you could so mix it all together and then you start to oh pop this on top. Dried mint does taste so, yeah. so good with halloumi, doesn't it? I would oh, it's stick the perfect my face in that Yeah, part. I mean, I, <laughs> right I would too. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then this goes on and then I've got some egg yolk as well and that gives the lovely finished dish that beautiful golden topping, which I'll bring oh, over. Oh, no way. Yes, so that's egg you yolk put the top. egg yolk. So, like so, and you all beautifully like that. And I've also got some sesame seeds, which gives it a lovely crunchy topping. And I love the topping like that when it's nice. really rustic and those bits pick up the crisp, don't they? The little and they do. Bits. And it's this, I mean, this is where... This is kind of just This oh, is wow. the trick. Before. So what's that doing? Did you say that's browning it? It gives it a lovely, fluffy you kind, see of that, like, kind of look. Mm. Like so. And mm. then we've got I the, see you, the shiny sesame seeds which had some crunch and, again, that lovely kind of quintessential Cypriotness that we've mm. added there as well. And, obviously, I'm going to bring you... I'm looking the at yours. ...beautiful the, finish. Yeah, yeah, I'm already... Go on, you can get it. I'm already planning on eating the remains of yours. <laughs> and then... It's so nice. Well, I'm going to cut through one. to show you just how gorgeous it that is. It is absolutely oh, yeah. that delicious. That sauce is just... You can that. see the richness. <gasps> That pomegranate molasses, those lovely minty helim topping, Yum. thyme, crunchy sesame seeds. That's cottage pie I'm done sold. the mill as well. Oh, I'm really so good. glad you're I'm, I'm in. My I'm job here is done. Pint of milk, pint of ice you cold milk. You say this every time. Some foods live with milk, and that's one of them. This no? one? Yeah, yeah, pint of milk with that. Oh, wow, no, OK. No, it's pure... <laughs> oh, I love you, but I can't. I'm not on board with that. Excuse me, I'm just lengthening my life here with some broccoli. Do you know that? I, did, yes. I listened to Dr. Sara and I thought this is a perfect we'll live longer compliment. Today. Thanks we will. For that, girl. <laughs> and that was delicious. Thank, Thank you so you very much. Enjoyed Thank it. you. Pleasure. Thanks for the milk. Always, no, it's not OK. Always, it's just always. not. Um, if you fancy giving Melissa's recipe the a well try, too. and I suggest you do, it is absolutely delicious. Head over to our This Morning app where you can find all the details.